Hello and welcome to the, the Sandbrook, Sandbrook Adventures, Adventures, where the weather is absolutely beautiful tonight. So we thought we'd come here to Dovedale, have a little stroll around, and yeah, no real plan, much like when we were down in London. Just have a bit of a stroll around some fields, see some animals, and go up Thorpe Cloud just, just over there. Just a casual walk around. Yeah, I know you all enjoyed our little stroll around London, just kind of taking it in and just going with the flow. We thought we'd do that tonight here in Dovedale. Lovely evening for it, got my sunglasses oh, on. It's lovely. Here we go, summer's nearly here, and uh, making the most of the gorgeous spring weather so yeah we've parked up just around the corner there's quite a bit of free parking around here in dovedale there is an official car park for more in the daytime when it gets busy but you can find quite a lot of free spots too and then of course yeah we're going to walk through this field and go up thought cloud which you can see there behind us which is a big hill and uh yeah taking some of the scenery see some sheep as well oh i can't wait to see the little baby lambs and then when we get over the other side they've got this lovely river with some stepping stones as well so come and join us bit of a walk and talk yeah let's have a nice stroll and of course this area is a National Trust site, Thorpe Pastures as we can see. So you're actually going to stroll through this field. Sometimes you get some sheep in here, I can see some I actually down there. Some. Other times you might get some cows oh, down in no, here. <laughs> well yeah, we are lucky to live in a beautiful area. I mean we're in Derbyshire now, obviously we're in Staffordshire, but we only live about 20 minutes from here and it's a lovely place to come and have a stroll around and in fact during a lot of the lockdowns we spent a lot of our kind of time that you could go and have um, exercise in here. It seems silly now doesn't it looking back, but you had a lot of time just coming here having a stroll around. Uh, I came here uh, I think it was last year and it was flooded one day. I was going to come and do the walk up Thorpe Cloud but yeah, it was flooded and I said I'd come back and I never did last year, uh, not on camera anyway. So I thought it'd be perfect for it tonight. So yeah, we're going to stroll up this way and then kind of take a left and go and walk up Thorpe Cloud over there. It looks like a big pyramid, doesn't it? But yeah, it's really nice. You get some good views. Oh, look at these over here. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're right there. Look at the little baby one, Charlotte. So cute. Oh, they're adorable. Hello. Oh. Oh, look at these, just sitting here, chilling out, catching some rays, like enjoying the sunshine. Because his neck's shaved. Yeah, <laughs> he's looking like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous around here. Really nice. It does get so busy, especially on a weekend. I mean, it's a Sunday today, so we thought instead of coming in the daytime, let's come more in an evening. I mean, it's just gone like six o'clock, so I thought, perfect. You see some people standing on the top just up there. You get a really nice view from up there. It's gorgeous, it really is. Now, if you're looking for a bit of a less steep climb up, you best come in this way. It's a bit steeper, actually, when you come up the other way. Uh, we'll go down that way, because I find it easier uh, coming up this way and then going down the other side. But yeah, it looks like a pyramid, doesn't it? It looks like man-made from here, even though obviously it's not. So yeah, we're kind of heading over towards that wall, and you can see there's a gate there. And when we get to that gate, we'll start climbing up Thorpe Cloud, and then we'll kind of go up to the top and head over the other side. Just got to watch out for the poo, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> you get pooey trainers. Yeah, like dried up though. So yeah, I mean the weather's been that lovely, hasn't it? You don't want to be doing this when it's been really wet. Oh, loads of lovely sheep round here. Hello, you're on the Sandbrook Adventures. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Oh, aren't they nice? Lovely. Little lambs. And yeah, we're nearly over here now by the gate. Oh, I think he's wondering what the camera is. Don't worry, I'm not coming near you. <laughs> we're strolling to that gate you can just see it over there in the distance yeah you can just see some people walking down that gives you an idea on the scale of thorpe cloud and zoom in a bit there you can see some people up on the top beautiful see you later sheep have a nice evening oh, <laughs> oh there we go he said bye see you later all right we're gonna head through this gate it only took about well five minutes or so to stroll across the field we've made it over here Nice country walk for our lovely spring evening. Right, let's go. And yeah, you just follow the arrows just over here. Yeah, it's not too steep, this one. It's not like Ben Nevis or anything. It's not a mountain, it's only a hill. So as you can see, it's not too hard to climb up just here. Yeah, <laughs> you all right there? I think so. <laughs> nice view already from here. But yeah, you just got to make sure that the rocks don't crumble oh, no. from behind you just there. Not yet, you know, it's only a short climb, it only takes maybe 10-15 minutes to get to the top of this, which isn't too bad. But yeah, it's a bit steeper climbing up the other way, so I'd recommend coming up this way and going down the other side. But yeah, it's not like a well-established path, but you can work out where you want to be walking. And like I say, you've got the little wayfinder post here. Whoa, beautiful. It's also nice doing it when the temperature 
is a little bit cooler. It's been really nice and warm today. I say that, it's been like 20 degrees, but still, you know, it's lovely when it's like this. So I'm gonna stroll around. You know, you can see for miles and miles up here. You okay there? <laughs> That's it. Oh, it's lovely. Look at all them down there. They're with the, are they having a picnic down there? I think they might be. Lovely, what an evening for us. And yeah, I say it gets busy up here. They're actually using the overflow parking just over there on that field. I think it's literally just a farmer's field that they open up um, normally when the main parking gets full down there at the bottom. And yeah, you can see there's still a few cars parked on there. But earlier on, I reckon that would have been full. So yeah, you're definitely better coming on an evening for a more relaxing experience. Oh, and of course, there's not long to go until the start of our big USA road trip, which is gonna be awesome over on Theme Park Worldwide and here on the Sandbrook Adventures, where we're gonna be filming a lot more of the travel aspect um, from the trip on this channel, which is gonna be awesome. We're also gonna be doing a packing video in a few days time, uh, showing you what we're taking. We've never done a packing video before. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing that. Charlotte's gonna be really leading that one. I'll nip in and do a bit of packing as well, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Oh, that's if Charlotte makes it down anyway. She's down there. <laughs> Tell you what though, you are treated with awesome views of the Derbyshire and Staffordshire countryside from up here. So it's definitely worth the climb. You're doing well, Charlotte. You're doing well. <laughs> there you can see some people up there at the top posing for some photographs. Yeah, there's so many nice walks that you can do around here. Not just Thorpe Cloud, but you've got lots of other hills you can climb and yeah, lots more to explore around the Peak District. I've filmed quite a few of them locations on this channel when it was known as Adventure Sean. However, I'd like to do a bit more of that, especially this summer when we're back from the US trip, do some more walking around, taking it all in. Oh, look at this. Of course, there is multiple routes up and down a Thorpe Cloud. This is just one of a few different options that you've got. You're doing well there, Charlotte. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and we've parked just behind where those trees are. So what we're gonna do once we've been up to the top, take in the views, is then come down the other side. And then you see the road just down at the bottom. You can either walk back along that road or there is a pathway down here that then connects up to the road too. The terrain does get quite rocky and it gets a little bit steeper when you come here as well. So you have gotta be really careful just to make sure you're getting your step in right as you're coming up around this way. Well, we did pretty well there. It only took us about 10 minutes to get from the field right up here to the top of Thorpe Cloud. And I'll tell you what, it's lovely tonight. Beautiful evening for it. Uh, Cause even though it's been quite a warm day, when you're up here, you get a nice breeze and it's just what you want really when you're climbing up something like this. Um, but here we go, let me show you the awesome view. There we go, look at this. And there's Charlotte, she's made it up. Hey, <laughs> having a nice sit down there. I'll come bring you some water in a minute. I've got, uh, got loads in my bag. That's the thing, even when you're climbing something like this, it might not be that tall, but you still want to be prepared with waters and that sort of thing. But yeah, if you do want to see me climb up Ben Nevis, the tallest mountain here in the UK, up in Scotland, then yeah, there is a video on this channel from that a few years ago. Whee! <laughs> You gotta watch your step round here, yeah, it's quite a, a steep drop in places. Not so much here, but more on the end just there. But yeah, that's another route that you can come up. I think we're gonna go down that way. You can go straight down there, but I wouldn't really recommend it like them people are doing. It's really steep there. Um, I'd recommend coming down this path, kind of going down to the side and then walking along the bottom and then you'll end up to the river. But we'll see the river from up here in just a moment. Let's watch me step as we're coming down. Oh, come and see Charlotte over here. There she is. I should have put my bigger boots on, really. I've got them at home. There we go. How is he, Clive? Not too bad. It's nice Re to have a sit down. Ready for Ben Nevis now. Oh, I don't think I could do it, you know. No, what about Snowden? We could do that in I'll Wales. I'll in the cable car. <laughs> yeah. It's like a tramway in Snowden. I'll meet you there. That takes you up. But yeah, we could do that. I've done it before, many years ago. But uh, yeah, never filmed it on YouTube. So yeah, that'd be really good. But yeah, you can see for miles and miles up here. And yeah, there's the road down at the bottom. You can do a good loop round as well. Like I say, we've kind of come up this way. We'll loop round down by the river. And that's the main car park, just down where them trees are. Still pretty busy on there, as you can see. A lot of people just come and walk around. Uh, Dovedale, there's some other hills and things to walk around, some other country paths. Um, not everybody comes up here to Thorpe Cloud because it is quite a, a walk still. And if you're coming up from down by the river, it takes about 20, 25 minutes um to get up that way that's why i'd recommend coming up the way that we have just 
Oh, it's so beautiful up here. It makes you really appreciate how lucky we are to live somewhere like this, right in the centre of the country, where we can be really close to a lot of the big cities and things if we want to, like Birmingham and Manchester. But then also, we can just be in somewhere like this, you know, and just kind of sit here and watch the day go by. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. Really like it. I've had many happy memories as a kid coming here and walking around. And I remember when I walked up here for the first time, climbed up. Um, yeah, quite the experience when you do it for the first time. And yeah, it's just lovely looking around and just seeing the odd few houses and buildings. But yeah, mostly just appreciated um, all the greenery and nice scenery up here. Of course, you've got to watch your step if you're coming over this bit. But yeah, it does get really steep. I was talking about some steep edges. If you're bringing kids up here, I probably wouldn't let them come along this bit, especially unsupervised. I do apologise about the wind noise as well. Pretty windy. Yeah, this is a great view. And you can see where we're going to be walking shortly there we go there's the river and yeah some stepping stones down there at the bottom too yeah last time i was here pretty sure it was last year i don't think it was the year before i think it was last year i came down and it was all flooded down there you could hardly see the stepping stones just came for a bit of a walk around so yeah hopefully they should be there yeah you can yeah you can see them down there which is good i think so <laughs> it's hard to tell it's in the shade but yeah they don't recommend going down this way straight down it's really steep you want to be going round to the right follow the way markers yeah beautiful you can climb up a lot of these hills around here there's lots of different walks that carry on through and yeah different parts of the heat district around to enjoy and yeah you can just go back down that way if you wanted to but i think you're best going down the the back just there it's pretty windy though up here yeah that's a big uh, hotel down the bottom there if you're wondering what that building is yeah what a great view Quite a few more people up here now this evening, taking in the stunning scenery. Really pretty. So yeah, like I said, we're going to head down and then we're going to walk basically all the way around the bottom, back up this side and round there to the car. Oh, it's just so nice to have some better weather after all this time. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, it is really nice. Really nice. It's chilled out and yeah, it's taking it Take all some in. Nice photos and stuff, which is great. Yeah, definitely. Quite a few people up here. Yeah, there is quite a few around. It's better on an evening. It gets quite crowded in the daytime, especially on a weekend or holidays when the weather's so nice. So yeah, it's much better coming on an evening. So we're going to start making our way down from Thorpe Cloud. And as you can see, this path is closed due to erosion and risk of rock fall. Please follow the blue way markers down the hill. So yeah, basically don't go down that way. You can see there's another sign over there. You want to follow the way markers down the uh, actual pathway in this direction. And also one on the other side that we came up. But yeah, don't be heading straight down that way. It's pretty steep. I have done it before and uh, it's pretty steep down there. So I wouldn't recommend it. Starting to make our descent. Always take your time when you're coming down. I mean, you want to take your time climbing up as well, but especially coming down and don't trust any rock that might look stable. These ones here, Charlotte, don't trust them. You never know. In fact, you're a lot better, in my opinion, just walking slightly on the side of the grass just here because some of these rocks, you never know, like this one here. Does it look stable? Assess the rock. <laughs> I'm acting like a professional. I'm really not, but this is where I go flying now and break my ankle before the US trip. Can you imagine? <laughs> but so, yeah, you just want to be really careful. I mean, it's common sense, isn't it, really? Like rocks that are buried into the ground, like that one, you know, probably aren't going to go anywhere, but don't trust it just in case. Always have your hand ready, ready to go. Just in case. Oh, there we go. You're all right. <laughs> I mean, obviously these bigger ones, you're okay, but yeah, a lot of the time you better kind of coming down some of the grassy areas, but yeah, just take your time. And yeah, it's getting a bit steeper here now. So I'm going to make sure I'm not holding the camera coming down this bit. Here comes Charlotte, enjoying coming down. Oh, be careful. You've got to, like try coming more on the sides over here. Just watch out for these nettles, the old stinging nettles down here. Oh, it's lovely. Really enjoying a nice stroll up here. Yeah, see what I mean? It takes longer to come down. Controversial, I actually think this is harder to come down than Ben Nevis is either going up or down, actually. Because Ben Nevis, it's got more of an established path than this. Well, like, you know be good with this? Come on. That if they built a slide coming down. Oh, or then, Alpine Coaster. Yeah, and then you can just slide <laughs> it down. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Alpine Coaster. Would take away from it a bit, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> be good, though. There we go. It started to flatten out a little bit now. But yeah, you definitely don't want anything in your hands when you're going down the steeper sections just up there. And yeah, a couple of minutes, we'll be back down here at the bottom. But yeah, if you wanted to cut your walk short there, you could just take a right and then, yeah, back through the field 
and then you'd end up back to where we've parked in the lay-by and it's over by the field but obviously we're going to do the longer walk so we're going to walk along the bottom just here round the corner back into the sunshine again hopefully uh, we're blocked now with the shade how are you finding it Charlotte you getting on oh, all right it's really tough that one <laughs> I don't want to end up slipping yeah you have got to be careful but we're nearly there now just down the bottom here and then we'll be on the flat path and here we go we've made it down here to the bottom well so that's one of the way markers and yeah we're going to follow it round to the left hand side over here now so yeah if you carry on around that way you'll see where we started climbing up literally just over there so you could just go back that way across the field if you wanted about what maybe a 45 minute total walk with a little stop at the top well yeah we're going to carry on around this way to a really picturesque part of dovedale now and that's the area with the stepping stones and yeah you've got actually got a couple of facilities there's some toilets there's normally an ice cream van down there too don't know if they will be this time of night but you never know it's lovely oh look at the little baby lambs over there aren't they pretty lovely. oh there you go all the way around there and yeah you can see this bottom path which we're going to follow now yeah this will take probably about 10 minutes or so to get over to the main area and then when you get down there it's kind of a main footpath all the way down there then yeah right next to the river itself where the stepping stones are but yeah did you find that all right charlotte it's a bit tough that was to be honest yeah you got to be careful aren't you end up slipping over no nah, that's the thing that, oh that's a lovely view there with the sun just coming out over the top yeah. gorgeous and you see the people up there at the top you realize you know it's quite a walk even though it is only a hill not a mountain still it's a good walk up there and back you get some good steps in doing that so yeah we're going to carry on down this way and yeah it's much flatter down here you still got to watch out for a few rocks though you just go a tiny bit steeper in some areas but yeah it's pretty flat around here i think when we get around this corner there's a few more rocks you just got to climb down but not see much at all and that'll send you down onto the main pathway there's still some people making the ascent up but yeah you've got about another what 90 minutes until sunset sunset's a really good time up there as well actually maybe next time we do we'll have to do that at sunset but yeah it's beautiful up there and the sun's going down <laughs> Beautiful. Hi. Mm. Hello. Hello. They were French that have come over. Sounded like it to me. Yeah, you got a lot of tourists coming over and seeing this beautiful place that we call home. Here we go. So yeah, I've been walking for about five minutes from when we came down from the main part of Thorpe Cloud. Got this little stream do coming down there? just there. Uh, Why do you get through? You just got to walk through it, Charlotte. Don't trust that rock. <laughs> oh. Only trust some. There we go. We just got to go for it. Oh, that one looks all right. <laughs> you went over the rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I judged it and thought, yeah, it looks all right. That's that okay. Safe rock. It was safe rocks. What you got to watch out for. And also, I know it might sound a bit silly, but you've also got to watch out for rocks falling down here, especially when people are walking um, up the top. And then, yeah, if a rock actually falls, it could build up quite a bit of speed when it's coming down. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a climbing expert or anything, but you know. <laughs> this is true though. Yeah, like you gotta, you gotta watch out back into the sunshine now, lovely. It's gonna be a bit busier down here. Cause like I say, a lot of people that come to this area don't necessarily climb up Thorpe Cloud or any of the surrounding hills. You can just walk down this way. And of course it's fully accessible down here. If you've got push chairs, wheelchairs, that sort of thing. Whereas this bit, as you can see, it's not. Whereas the bit we're heading to in a moment down by the river and the stepping stones, all of that area is. So yeah, that's more the touristy Spartan than those who want a little bit of a high adventure. Make the way up there. And yeah, this little stream just continues on down here too. Should be back in the sunshine in just a moment. I say that, it's a valley when you get around here. So yeah, now the sun's starting to go down. We might not be, but we'll see. It's nice and warm though tonight. Isn't it? Playing a bit of cricket over there as well. How pretty is this? Lovely with the stream. Really nice. And there we go, that's our walk up Thorpe Cloud. Oh, I'm glad that we're at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice though. Yeah, oh. also, we've got some really nice views, but it's a bit tough coming down. Yeah, it's quite difficult. Make sure that you don't slip. It took us maybe three times longer to come down did, as yeah. it did go up. Maybe about, what, 25 minutes to come I'd down? Say so, yeah. Something like that. I tell you what, it's busy it's around busy, here tonight. Yeah. Look at this, loads of people just having a good time, soaking up the rays, having picnics, and there's the stepping stones. Yeah, we'll go and cross over them now. Yeah, loads of people around. Look at this, people having the tea. Picnics, big setups, beautiful. 
People having a little paddle down here, and yeah, skimming stones. Oh, it's just having a nice time. And yeah, here's the stepping stones. Yeah, last time I was down here on camera, these stepping stones you couldn't see because it was flooded all the way down here. Like there was branches. It was when we had loads of terrible weather and the sun did come out for a little bit. So I came for a stroll, but yeah, I was hoping to cross them. And yeah, it was all flooded, if you remember that video. So yeah, it's nice to see them back in action just here. I thought, God, it's going really dark. Then I realized I've got my sunglasses on. Yeah. <laughs> As you can blame me, the sun's really going down tonight. Yeah, got my sunnies on, hasn't I? Let's wait for these to cross. He's going over on his bike, yeah. And then we'll make our way over. And there goes Charlotte, over the stepping stones. Oh, you don't fall in. <laughs> Can't believe how busy it is around here tonight. Loads of people. All right, 20 past seven. No, oh, don't you just love spring? And these lighter nights. You gotta watch these sometimes. They do get quite slippy. You gotta be careful. And the gaps can get quite big in some areas. Love the dovetail, it's a great place to come and have a walk though. And it costs nothing as well, you, you, know, you bring a picnic. Or we'll just come for an evening stroll, we had our dinner at home. And come for a walk around tonight. But I wish we had these light nights all year. I say that, I do like winter too and Christmas markets and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, these, these nights are nice when it's like this. Quite a, a current coming past. Look at that. There we go. Over the Dovedale stepping stones we go. Well, there we go. Nice walk over the stepping stones in Dovedale. I thought the sun might still be shining down there, but uh, like I say, because we're in the valley just we're here. Sort of covered over. Covered right? over. It's nice and warm, though. Yeah, it is. It's not cold at all. Yeah, what a lovely evening. Yeah, there's quite a few different paths. I mean, you can walk that way um, to some other different hills and footpaths. I've done some of them. There's others that I haven't done, but I'd like to do in the future. Um, but yeah, we're on the main path now. So I was talking about it being quite accessible down here for wheelchairs, push chairs, that sort of thing. If you want to just walk your dog, like, look at the pathway down here. It's um, fine. It's down fine. Yeah, it's not crumbling away like it is up the top there. But uh, yeah, some great views looking back at Thorpe Cloud and we will end up back in the sunshine in a minute. Just walking past all the lovely nature. And there we go, that's where we were, right on the top. Just over there. So yeah, it's quite a, a climb if you're going up this way, Charlotte, only for the professionals. Oh, no way. <laughs> way. Can you imagine? Yeah, literally that peak just there is where we were, right at the top. Yeah, it's lovely. I don't think you'd be able to climb up that way, you know. I mean, some people would, but I, I wouldn't be able to. I think I remember seeing somebody once going up there. Equipment. Yeah, like using all the proper safety stuff, of course. But yeah, it's really nice down here. The river's quite high though, actually. I mean, last time I was down here on camera, like I say, it was all kind of, it was flooded across here. I remember you had to kind of climb up through the top here, but yeah, it is quite high. I mean, the weather's nice tonight, but we had a big rainstorm a couple of days ago. Probably so, filled it up. yeah, filled it up. Yeah, I mean, you look at it down there. Yeah. You know, it's pretty high, isn't it? You can see how they've had to like reinforce it down there and stuff too. Aww. So, carrying on with our walk down here, and yeah, there's a bridge across there, and you can walk up Thorpe Cloud that way if you want to as well. So, yeah, there's quite a few different routes that you can decide to do. It is really nice down here, though. It's so peaceful. Just the sound of the river and the little waterfalls going by. So nice, just and to all the nature. yeah, take it all in. Like you can just hear all the birds. The and it's just really dogs. nice, isn't it? A completely different world to the London vlog that we did just a few days oh, ago. The like, <laughs> yeah, that's, the thing. that's what's really nice, though, isn't it? To see these different areas. Yeah, it's lovely down here. Dovedale in the Peak District. And yeah, another couple of minutes around this corner, you get to the main car park. It is a charged car park, this one. But yeah, there is quite a lot of parking here. There's also toilet facilities that I'm hoping are going to still be open. Oh, I hope so. And also, you normally have like an ice cream van down here as well. Probably won't be there tonight. And sometimes like a burger van and that mm. sort of thing down here too. Yeah, this is the main car park. Like I say, it is charged. So I don't know if it is on an evening or not, but we will find out when we walk past down here because we're going to basically walk down the road then. But yeah, it's... Not a very busy road, only small little country lanes. And that'll take us round back up to our car. Then here's a look at the car park. So as you can see, the stepping stones may be flooded after heavy rain. Yeah, it's a paying display here now. Never used to be, but yeah, it's five pound for four hours and seven pounds 
all day. Blue badge holders park for free. And yeah, if you're a National Trust member, you can also park for free down here as well. And yeah, the toilet facilities are open. However, they are paid toilets down here. And I tell you what, they were very dirty inside, weren't Absolute they? disgusting inside. Yeah, there. not great that. I mean, I don't agree with uh, charging the toilets no, at all. Know. Like, yeah, they shouldn't do that. You know, especially in somewhere like this where a lot of tourism comes anyway. Um, yeah, they charge people for parking. People buy ice cream and stuff when the van's there. Like, yeah, yeah well. like, you know, it's uh, taking the pee quite literally, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. Hey! <laughs> and then we're going to walk down this way now so yeah it is the road down to the car park but yeah it's, it's pretty quiet like i said there's nobody really coming down here other than people who are actually parked on this car park and yeah still a few cars about as we enter into the evening but yeah we'll walk this way now this will probably take us about 20 minutes or so and that'll take us back around to the car it's probably about a mile or so down here but yeah it's a nice evening for it lovely stroll even though we're strolling down the lane just here you still get a lovely view of the river over there too Beautiful evening, really nice. Also get some nice views of the countryside and also a thought cloud when we get round this corner. Might get a bit of wildlife around here. Oh, there's sheep up there, is he? Yeah. There we go, nice sheep. Where is he? Oh, he's up there on the top. Yeah. Peeking over to the other side. There he is, sheep. Oh, beautiful walk and yeah the pathway opened up a little bit just off the road and yeah we're back in the sunshine now as well which is fantastic this is also the roadway that leads up to that hotel that i showed you from the top it's called the isaac walton hotel restaurant bar lunch and afternoon teas it's open all day and non-residents are welcome there you go and there's the website parking just for guests up there at the isaac walton country house hotel that's the full name the country house hotel we don't get that on this side Lovely. Lots of nice roads to cycle around here too, which I have done in the past. Brought the bike up and yeah, to cycle around. Gorgeous. Oh, we've got some sheep over here, Charlotte. Oh, nice. So yeah, we're going to just cross over here now. And yeah, walk down this way, cross over the bridge, and then up the little hill. And like I mentioned, we're right on the border here between Staffordshire and Derbyshire. Yeah, there's the Staffordshire sign over there too it's a bit more free parking just down the side of the road there but obviously make sure you're not obstructing anything really cute little bridge here which is nice and yeah of course this is the river itself it goes a lot thinner here actually and then it opens up down where the stepping stones are might get some cow interaction down here charlotte oh, no. <laughs> what we got down here some more sheep baby lambs oh. and there's a look at where we just walked yeah like there's thorpe cloud I like how you're waving at them, Charlotte. Oh, I think they're thinking, who's that? What's she doing? Yeah, you appreciate the height of it from this side, don't you? Nobody at the top there now. There's a people walking down. There you go. You can just see the people right there. And yeah, there's a little public footpath to the left here that leads down that way towards the bridge that we showed you earlier on as well. That's the thing. There's so many different areas to walk around here and different public footpaths and all sorts. And yeah, here's the farm. So we're going to walk past now. Bah. Oh, there we go. He said hello. <laughs> hello. Oh. Hello. Aren't they cute? Aww. Aww. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> Hiya. Thinking, what's that in my hand? It's a camera filming you. Hello. <laughs> Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Thank you. So, yeah, we just pass through the gate. Make sure, of course, you close all the gates when you're making your way through them. And, yeah, we're going to get some cow interaction up here now. This is actually the main road that you come down to the car park, if you're wondering why there's a, a big road going through here. Yeah, that's why. Oh, no. oh look at the little baby ones. No, but I don't like how they're looking at shop. Oh, they're only little cows. Don't worry about them. That's a massive one. Oh, they're nice. Oh, look at his udders. Beautiful. Little baby cows. Oh, there they are. I didn't want to get the camera out right next to them and scare them because we're in their space. You've got all the cows at the top there too. Beautiful. That's it, crossing the road. Oh, aren't they nice? Lovely. But yeah, it does get really busy with traffic down here. 
to. It's much better coming around on an evening when it's like this. Beautiful views. And yeah, we walked along the tree line the other side of there. There's the car park just around that area. Oh. Charles, all the way over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's because you just want to take it nice and calm when you're going past. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there are any cows like you know, but you, you we're in their space, aren't we? At the end of the day, you got to think, you know, all the cars pass through here as well. Oh, and the little baby one's nice. Little calves. Continuing on up just here, and another look at Thorpe Cloud. Some more people just climbing up over there. Like I say, it does make a great sunset. Just make sure you leave enough time to get back down. But there's quite a lot of different walks around here that you can do. Loads of public footpaths. Whew. Got our steps in tonight. Whew. Some of the roads do get quite steep when you're walking around this way. So it's worth bearing that in mind if you were doing this full route round that we've done tonight. Obviously you could start off coming down this way if you wanted to, but I've done that before. I found it easier going up first and then round the back of the stepping stones like we have done tonight. Yeah, we've got our steps in. You right there, Charlotte? <laughs> got your steps in tonight? Yeah. <laughs> oh, another five minutes, just around the corner. Oh, we're where we park, just in one of the free parking spots just over here. We are with the official car park at the bottom. Um, you've got to pay and display dawn until dusk. So you've got to kind of make your own mind up really when that is, but there's no like set times, but dawn until dusk. Here's one of the car parks here too that we saw from at the top. No car payments, no barbecues, and no fires are permitted. Whew. Yeah, I mean, a bit of a party in their back garden. Oh, imagine that. What a place to live. You can tell how busy this would have been though, earlier on. Like, I reckon all this was full. Like, look at these cars just pulling off now, but yeah, this would have been busy. Car park locked at 7.30. Three pound all day for that one. Whoa. Look at that. Got the tunes pumping. Having a great time over there. Oh, and I've kept mentioning it throughout the night, but I haven't shown you the sign just here yet. There you go. Thorpe, home of Thorpe Cloud and not Thorpe Park. You're not going to get any views of Exodus around here. <laughs> And here we are, back at the car. Yeah, like you can see, there's a few spaces just over on the right-hand side here. Yeah, it's not like a passing place or anything like that, so you are allowed to park there, because obviously two vehicles can pass quite easily on this road. But yeah, lots of free parking around here too. And here we are then, back at the car. Just had a few minutes, just sat here in the back of the boot um, with a nice bit of water. You need it after that, don't you? Oh, you definitely need a drink after that. Oh, it was quite a walk. We've been here about two hours walking around. We've done about 7,000 steps with that, but you've got to think we'll have burned quite a lot of calories because a lot of that was like uphill, wasn't it? Oh, I'm Which ready is... for a nice cup of tea and some biscuits <laughs> when I get back. Oh, uh, it was good, that was. But uh, no, I enjoyed it. It's a really beautiful place, Dovedale. Definitely would recommend it. It doesn't cost you anything to come either if you park around here um, in one of the free spots. And if you paying three pounds a part there bad, and stuff really. yeah you can bring a picnic and make a full day of it around here there's lots of other walks obviously we've just shown you the main area by the river uh, also by the stepping stones and thorpe cloud but yeah there's lots of other hills and public footpaths so you could go for a meal at that pub i guess if you wanted to i've uh, never been in but yeah it's there but uh, yeah i've really enjoyed it. it's been really nice i've nice enjoyed evening. it but i'm very tired oh <laughs> there you go well you can't be too tired because we've got packing to be getting on I with no we have indeed yeah we're going to be uh, going on the big usa road trip lots of vlogs coming up across both channels like i said earlier on of course all the theme park vlogs will be on theme park worldwide but on this channel we're going to bring you more of the travel aspects and that's going to start off in a few days with charlotte with a packing video yeah i always like watching packing videos and seeing what people take away with them so i'm going to do that one for you on the channel yeah we've never done one before have no, we we've so, not, so i'll take you along yeah that's the thing we thought it'd be the perfect opportunity and with charlotte being full-time on the channel for quite a long period of time oh, now no, it's been quite a while yeah it's been like half a year i think hasn't yeah, it now I'd say so, yeah, yeah quite a long time so it's you know perfect to 
so it's kind of looking to doing new things and yeah packing video will be coming up for the trip as well and hopefully we're going to be in some nice weather i want these sunglasses with me oh, no. lots of sun cream i think we're going to need it so plenty of that will be getting packed but uh thanks for joining us here on this channel we really do appreciate all your support you. uh honestly it really does mean the world to us and of course we're going on this big epic american adventure and that is going to be amazing across both channels but yeah dovedale's been lovely tonight nice evening stroll and when we come back from the trip we'll do a few more of these evening strolls because there's some other lovely areas the roaches nearby um, that i've not filmed before so we'll go and take yeah, you up the there the roaches is quite nice isn't it yeah it's beautiful but uh, there we go thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own, own adventures. adventures we'll see you in the packing video